All right, hello there, Internet. It's Scourge13 again, bringing you another video beaming out at 1080p, 60fps. Woot woot! Once again, playing with my friend Shadowfang22, who is hoping to start streaming games of his of his own soon, and I'm going to be teaching him and maybe you, if you don't know, uh, some strategies for Homeworld One races in Homeworld Remastered. <coughs> Um, yesterday we just kind of take a look, took a look at the patch, tried to see what the new behaviors were, and uh, today I'm hoping to do maybe more of a tutorial thing and actually help Shadow Fang <laughs> with the game, rather than just kind of leave him to his own devices. Um, and learn today. Yeah, try to try to learn. learn. Um, so again, I was describing the map. Um, well, you don't know that because that recording is now scrubbed, but. Um, this particular map is a good one to start practice on because you can put the AI, which I'm going to move to standard here, um, across the map from your play partner. So um, I put him in slot three, so he's furthest away. Um, if anybody, is, if he assaults anybody, if, if the AI assaults anybody, it's going to take me out first. Um, as the more experienced player, hopefully I can, I can. Uh, uh, I was going to use a very bad term. I, I can block that particular assault. Um, so the key to this map, again, you're, st you're to the uh, resources that you're near, which are the ones where you start on, and then the ones in the pocket, and we call this area the pocket here. Uh, they don't last the whole game. The long-term resources are in the center. So if you control the center, you can basically starve out the other team. And that's kind of the basic strategy for the map. So that said, um, I think we're ready. Do you want to have anything else you want to add, Shadow? No, I think we're good. Just ready up and teach me some... All right. Go games. All right, we're starting up. Uh, let's cross our fingers and hope we have sound this time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did. We, we tested it in a skirmish. Each of us individually tested it in a skirmish to make sure we had sound effects. That is a known bug with this build of the game, so... Um, anyway. Oh, I have sound effects. Yep, I have sound effects, too. All right, uh -huh. every system is go. So as soon as you pop in, hit the B button twice so that you select your mothership and then have your mothership build your Production research ship. Underway. Um, Roger. Now the reason why you do that is because um, mothership. Mothership you want your research ship your mothership's going to be in the back usually um, and you don't want your your um, research ship to get sniped Ready. because as a homeworld Collection one player confirmed. that's like your singular vulnerability because um, then it stops Roger. all of your research for Reporting. many minutes Confirmed. And if you upgraded that ship and it gets it popped, Collection confirmed. Um, you're out Copy. significant resources. So you want that thing way in the back by your mothership. You in. want it to be the last Standing thing, by. one of the last things that gets attacked. Um, now one of the other things that I'm doing here um, resources locked in. is Take I'm off. moving my carrier underneath um, that resource node there. Resources the reason why in. is Roger. because the drop-off um, will be closer because the drop-off is underneath that carrier ship. Um, and this, this way, by moving it directly underneath, the um, resource collectors are able to have New easier access to available. it. New research available. Research um, ship complete. Now that with your first research ship out, if we're going to do a rush strategy, which I think we should, um, the first thing you want to do is uh, hit uh, R and then select Fighter Drive. Uh, you know the basics of researching. You hit the little tabs up there and get your Fighter Drive going. Um, make sure your collectors are working. And the other thing I'm doing is moving my homeworld, or homeworld, my mothership, wow, forward a little bit because its resource drop-off is in the back, and we want that to be research complete. Um, New research also available. shorten the trip before the resource collectors rather than having them fly all the way around the ship. So I move that slightly forward of the uh, resource node. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, now, technically, um, I usually queue up... Uh, Underway. Uh, Construction eight collectors, underway. four each Production on the underway. mothership and the uh, carrier. Um, and then we'll do something special with those as they get completed. Uh, if I'm going too fast, let me know. Uh, my fighter drive just completed. How's yours? Uh, mine's done. It's been All done right, first. so then we go with fighter chassis. All right, now this will unlock uh, when that's done. And these are very cheap researches, so it's very fast. These will unlock interceptors. Um, and they're actually pretty good at uh, any kind of early game combat um, that you could experience. Now, um, 
sometimes in a really close game, uh, you would uh, build some probes. Um, we didn't this time, and that's okay because that allowed us to complete that fighter research faster. Um, another tip that uh, is good to do is that I get in the habit of every time I want to switch a screen, I got in the habit of pressing the period key. Resource that selects complete. idle resource collectors. Resource collector complete. Um, and then that way, that that way, I, I continually check to make sure that my resource research collectors complete. aren't idle. New research available. New fighters available for construction. Okay. And as soon as that is done, uh, my research was done. So I'm going to hit plasma bomb launcher to unlock well, the plasma bombers. Um, now, I would highly recommend as a homeworld one race that you hit L, and uh, hit L. Um, and you go into your docking menu, or your launch menu, and I say stay docked on my carrier and my mothership. Um, that way, when we start building our interceptors, the Eventually, AI or the players can't see here. them. Expect delays. Because it'll stay docked, so they don't know what we're building. They don't know if we're going for a rush-type strategy or um, something that involves more Reporting. tech. Collection confirmed. All right, now I have my two uh, resource collectors are done, so I'm actually sending them to my expansion slot, which is the one away resource collector complete. from your uh, mothership. Resource collector complete. And woo, speak of the devil, uh, I got two more resource collectors coming out of the mother uh, the carrier um, and the mothership. So I'm going to send those off as well uh, to the expansion. And when you get those four up, um, I start moving my carrier underneath the expansion slot. Um, the mothership now in position should be able to handle any resources at the starting location. Copy. Short cut for the idle resourcer? Yeah. Research complete. Yeah. And every time I try to switch a menu, I hit the period key just to make sure I don't have any uh, uh, stuff that's not selected. And this is going fast. Okay, so we have interceptors and attack bombers available now. So what I like to do is I build 20 Production interceptors underway. on the mothership, and then I hit B again and build 20 uh, oops, attack bombers complete. on the Earth carrier underway. to get a 40 Resource total ships. Construction underway. Um, Construction underway. Construction it doesn't really underway. matter which ship you build what at, complete. as long as you're building attack 20 complete. of each out of both ships. Interceptor complete. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, now you should also be checking your L key every once in a while because uh, you have resource collectors being built at your ships, and they're not being launched. They are also docked. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I I just realized that myself. See, I'm learning too. Interceptor complete. Attack bomber complete. All right. Reporting. Standing by. Interceptor complete. Resources locked in. Resources locked in. Standing by. Attack bomber complete. Resources downrange. Interceptor complete. Collection confirmed. Yeah, so we got everything, pretty much everything we need. Now, as far as research Attack goes, bomber uh, you'll notice that our resources are pretty low. Like, you should be in the low hundreds or maybe even uh, ro going broke every once in a while. Um, that's okay because we're building. Collector complete. Uh, eventually, you'll see your resource resources go up. Complete. And when that happens, um, you should really think you should really research capital ship drive, but you complete. shouldn't do that until you notice you're making a profit. Before, Attack bomber if you complete. keep going broke, don't research anything. Just let things build. Um, I notice I have a couple uh, resource collectors that are kind of like frozen. They're like stuck. They're Attack not... bomber complete. Um, Interceptor complete. Let me look at your screen or look at your they're area. Underneath my carrier. They're chilling. Hmm. Uh, try Interceptor moving the. Complete. Oh yeah. Attack try moving the complete. carrier towards your expansion slot. See where you have your other resource collectors are? Move the carrier over there. Complete. That should free up Attack the... Bomber complete. Yeah. That'll also shorten the trips between those resource collectors and any drop-off points. See how my carrier is beneath the uh, asteroids now? Complete. Yeah. Yeah, see this really shortens complete. up the trip. Now I'm making a profit, so I want to start hitting Capital Research Drive, Attack and because I'm making complete. a profit, I'm going to tell my uh, mothership also to queue up a Production research underway. ship upgrade. The things will go a little bit faster. Now we are going a bit slower than uh, you would in a. Many of these things uh, you practice a lot, so they become kind complete. of automatic. So this is kind of a slower pace because I'm Attack explaining things complete. as I'm doing them, which slows them down a little bit. So if you're writing comments on my YouTube channel, don't freak out Attack that I'm going slow. Complete. That's 
<laughs> kind of the nature of the beast, all right? Oops, and I hit, I did an oopsie. I accidentally hit launch all. <laughs> so now it's kind of um, do or die now, because now I've revealed my hand about what I was researching. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and hit undock, auto launch. I'm going to hit L and then hit auto launch, and this launches everything as it's built. Roger. Um, Attack bomber complete. I'm still hidden locked in my launch. Yeah. I, I mean, I think we should go ahead and attack, actually. Um, so go ahead and hit the auto. You can either hit Attack launch all complete. and then auto launch, or just hit auto launch, and it'll just launch everything that's already in there. No. And uh, you'll see that they all they all kind of come piling out. I'm gonna bandbox my uh, various ships here. Usually, going to the sensor screen is great for that. I'm gonna give them a research hot key. Complete. Then I'm not gonna give New them a formation, available. but I am gonna hit M and then tell them to move Group to a single location. All route. Um. That way we kind of get all, we want them all in the same spot, and then I'll kind of wait um, for you to do a similar thing, and then we'll kind of move in together. Oop. And Resources downrange. Hitting hitting period when I switched screens helped me out there because I had an idle resource collector I didn't notice. Okay. So make sure you hit period every once in a while. All right, so we got all that done. Uh, my capital ship stuff. Uh, researched pretty quick. Now you have a choice here. After your first capital ship drive uh, is done, you can either go straight to attack frigates, which would be capital chip chassis, or you can go for some kind of a support um, thing at the non-combat research. Most people will say go to gravity generators, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, this way I can shut down any strike craft he has in case the rush fails. Um, I can also stop any um, frigates from jumping into my area um, because that the passive ability of a gravel generator stops um, hyperspace jumps. Okay, so it looks like you're you're forming up there. Excellent. Group one, copy. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and attack the uh, scout that I see by intercept. just simply right-clicking it, and uh, we'll go ahead and watch this. Attention, fleet. We have too many collectors here. Expect to re refix mine because I hit the wrong the wrong key. Everything was like spazzing out. Right, I am researching Group gravity one, generators now. I'm making a lot of profit, so I'm going to go ahead and Production make underway. another research ship upgrade so that everything goes faster from now on. Um, seems like I ran out of... And now I don't know where the enemy is really so much. Group one copies. Um, oh, here they, here they come. Locked in. Attack Put my guys on aggressive mode. No mercy. <laughs> And it looks like they really improved the behavior of Homeworld 1 interceptors. That was a pretty spectacular exchange there. We didn't come out too badly either. Oh, nice. Um, now we're starting. My now my formation is starting to lose a little cohesion. Nice, you're already moving in for the kill. Well, we're just. I'm just kind of. This is just a skirmish right now. Um, this isn't going to be anything game-changing. It's just strike craft. You could have destroyers back there, and I would never know. Now, since I'm in active combat, it's usually a good idea to hit B and start uh, replacing your losses. And so to replace losses, I usually just replace half of what I built. So that would be 10 interceptors and 10 attack bombers. Uh, that should keep, keep the numbers up while we're fighting. Attack bombers complete. So this is uh, going pretty well. I am making crazy bank. Like I said, normally in a, another in a more com in a non-tutorial game, I'd be not clapping my gums. I'd just be doing stuff. I'm moving in as well. Coming across. Right What's the call? Now I have uh, gravel generators unlocked. I'm gonna go ahead and build. We need to unlock gravel generators. I find it's probably a good idea to build them one at a time, but build one at your mothership and then one at your carrier. That way you have uh, the passive protection at both areas. Now I've noticed that I've taken actually a lot of casualties here. Just visually I can look at the sensor screen and see that I've lost a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and bump up my reinforcements by another 10 each. Because I might take 100% casualties in my initial rush here. In my initial attack. In, in a formation? Okay. We're in a circle formation. 
nearby. Okay, now we've kind of pushed into their space. Um, so we have some choices as to what targets we have. You haven't engaged yet. I would recommend hitting control and then bandboxing the, the asteroids over here so that your guys co attack their collectors. And then I, your teammate, will bandbox control and bandbox select the uh, interceptors that are trying to reinforce the resources area. New frigates available for construction. Attack bomber complete. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. You're doing a great job. Interceptor complete. Got a good attack going. Oh, beautiful. This is a beautiful game. Great soundscape. Oh yeah. Freaking graphics are amazing. Attack oh. complete. Especially, I love the detail. You zoom in on your ships. Interceptor. Now, generally, it's a good idea to build um, once you're done with the attack capital chassis, complete. ship chassis. Let me. What, have, what have you researched complete. so far? I'm probably getting way ahead. Probably not, not a lot. That's not a lot. Have you researched Attack grav wells? Complete. Under fire. Requesting orders. Interceptor complete. Okay. Now I my fighters are pretty depleted Attack compared to yours. Complete. But because I was building reinforcements once battle commenced, I basically have my entire attack force ready to go again. I, I'm missing attack four bomber attack complete. bombers, but ready. That's fine. So I'm gonna go to my sensor screen. Copy. And box select. Group select one. one M. Get them all in one little formation. Attack bomber complete. And then we're going to move out again. So, are you building reinforcement, Shadow? Sorry. Attack bomber complete. Really hard to hear you, actually. Oh, sorry. What were you asking? Uh, are you, were you building reinforcements while we were Group fighting? One reports yes. enemy contact. I have ten. They should Attack be able to dock. Complete. Okay. Supporting friendly. Yeah, you didn't take as many casualties. I basically took uh, maybe two thirds casualties, but I already have. Um, Group one a wave of reinforcements by. coming. Show no mercy. I'm just going to set them to aggressive mode so I don't have to babysit them so much. Now, yeah. now we paid it pretty much because of your attack on his uh, asteroids. Uh, we pretty much cleared out his uh, um, resource gathering. Research complete. And you notice New that we are, he available. is receiving reinforcements from off screen somewhere. Because he's not popping out of the mothership. They, so that means his carrier is supporting Under fire. Requesting orders. what they're doing. Now, pretty much because I, I put mine into aggressive mode, if you put yours into aggressive mode Group by one. clicking uh, Under attack. I did what that. Call? Okay, yeah. So basically, this is the fun part. Basically, we can ignore what's going on over here. Um, because now we're moving into a different phase of the game where we're going to build capital Stay ships. Stay on top of them. So I've already researched assault frigates, so I'm going to queue up ten Production of those at my mothership and my carrier. Construction underway. Assembly underway. Um, Assembly underway. Construction underway. And then what that will going? complete now. Now some people will say that what you need to do is build support frigates to heal your first destroyer. Um, Let's go ahead and do that. So I have 10 assault frigates in each cube queued up. I want to build uh, three assault support frigates in each cube. Um, so that I have six support frigates to heal up my destroyer that pops out eventually. Um, in fact, I already unlocked destroyers. So I'm actually going to cancel some frigates and get the frig destroyer out Production first. Underway. Production underway. Now a lot of these numbers, like 10 assault frigates, like those are just... That's high enough just to keep the, c the construction on without me having to watch it. It's a totally arbitrary number, by the way. There's nothing magical about 10. Um, and like here, you notice that we pretty much got his his uh, ship locked down. Yeah. There's not really much to do at this point. Uh, the, the way that he would defeat this is that he would probably build a corvette facility on his carrier and send the corvettes in to try to clear it up because corvettes will hard counter fighter based craft um, so that's the RPS basically how it works is that the, the ships that are one size up will counter the ships below them so frigates counter corvettes corvettes counter fighter stuff um, and destroyers counter frigates Battle cruisers and heavy cruisers. They're called differently based on what your race you are, but Support frigate complete. HCs or BCs will counter destroyers. Um, Light fire and also any any other capital craft that you might have. Standing by. I have some Lala, Lala Gaga full power. bombers just sitting there, so I'm just gonna order confirmed. Casually move them over. Um, 
and period. I don't have any more ships being, any more resource collectors being built. Um, now is the time also to move into the center. Um, Assault frigate complete. Assault frigate complete. Research complete. New research available. New capital ships available for construction. Ready. Bandbox my frigates and just have them move to a rallying area. Now I like to keep my ships. Um, there is a rally point function you can do, uh, Shadow, if you want, um, to keep feeding units into a, a battle type situation. Pick your targets. Um, but I don't Engaging usually do that because I like the idea of having units back at my resource yeah. nodes. So I like to manually move things around. All right, and we were without ba paying any real attention to it. Local we just popped. <laughs> Moving on. Reporting. We just Moving popped their intercept. stuff. Oh. Right. So that's going to really hamper his production. Now, as a Homeworld 2 race, he's not down for the f count because he can still build a shipyard and build capital ships using his carrier Support for get if he has the hyperspace module on the carrier. And we don't have, since the game started, we haven't put any eyes on this carrier at all. And look at the strike craft coming Assault our way. Complete. Holy crap. That's all of them. Ready for orders. I'm going to reissue point. orders and control Assault band box complete. select right. your spiders. Okay, now let's see what he has. We see his carrier now. Destroyer. He has platform Complete. controller and a fighter facility. So, if this were a player, he pro he made the wrong calls. He should have built a Corvette fine. facility, right? Because when you first see a bunch of fighters on your screen, you should be like, "Oh, I need to go one size up. Let's Take go for Corvette Corvettes," right? Um, yeah. he, so he he goofed. Heavy fire he built uh, a platform controller, which as a homeworld two race, that's a decent stopgap measure if you're facing a small attack, but. 80 fighters from, two, uh, from 40 from two orders. players, um, not going to happen. You needed, he needed Corvettes. So basically, strategically, at this moment, we've won the game. Not literally, because That's all of them. Ready for orders. we haven't blown them up yet, but... Roger. Um, Assault for cap, complete. Gonna Target focus confirmed. on his resource gatherers, not his carrier. Support for get complete. Okay. And my capital ships are over Reporting. there. I'm gonna get them all in one spot, just whatever I have now. And get them in one location. I'm also gonna go to my gravel generator. To destination. Or one confirmed. of them. And I'm gonna hit the G key for guard. And I'm gonna left click on my destroyer. Order confirmed. And the gravel generator will follow the destroyer, so if they do have any story craft that I want to disable with the special ability, I could do that. And I always put it on the highest, the biggest capital ship that I have, the Gravwell Generator, but it's always protecting that ship. Yeah. And it also keeps me from having to micromanage where the Gravity Well Generator is. <laughs> okay. Now, I kind of actually let my skimmer leak and I didn't research. Uh, I'm floating mega resources right now. How many resources do you have? Uh, 12,000. <laughs> yeah, we're floating Assault bad. Um, generally, again, complete. you would want to be continuously producing things, and you always want to be thinking, okay, I need to move to the next size up, the next size up. Um, generally, as a Homeworld 1 race, um, yeah, oh, good, you got your, you got your frigates here. Excellent. Yeah. See, this game's not going to last long enough to teach you how to keep your support frigates healing uh, That's all of them. Yeah, Ready this for is We done blew him up. All right, excellent. And so that opener is a rush-based strategy. In other words, you kind of put your all in into that first uh, fighter wave. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the, the total here. And uh, I started the attack, so I got a few more kills than you did, but not that bad. Um, ships built. Okay, you you did you did pretty well, Shadow, keeping up. So that's excellent. Um, I lost twice as much as you did, um, which is probably because I, I just neglected that first fighter blob. Let's see resources. Well, you 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 ran into the brunt of the fighters, so like by the time I got over there across the map, the fighters were done. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Resources. Uh, you kind of you kept up with me pretty well. Kept up with me pretty well. It was. I think the difference was just making sure we, um, make sure we we keep hitting the period key, and that is that's just something that comes with the practice. Uh, even, build capable what ships did you say too. The period key was as well. Yeah. And we also you also kept pace with me with research. Uh, basically, each research node is worth roughly five points. So you had we were like one research node behind me. Um, that's normal. Yeah. And then uh, took a 21 minutes to win that game. So that was an awesome, quick little game. Um, do you feel ready to graduate, Shadow, and uh, try against two AI opponents, one for each of us? I think we could do that. All right. So we'll use the same here. We'll create the same game. Uh, shadow play. I'm not even going to stop the recording, by the way. I'm not either. Yep, I'm just going to keep going. Uh, password is the usual, you know what it is. And then here Filters we are. Why don't... Filters always reset. Yeah, it's really weird that way. Hey. I'm going to put one standard and one easy. I am going to stay as a Kusha. Okay, yeah, let's, let's keep it the same. We'll even do the same opener. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you in three, which will put you next to the easy AI. So they're going to be closer to you, and I'll be closer to the standard. Uh, let's see. Uh, start location. Make sure it's always fixed when you do a team game. And it looks like we are good to go. All right. You ready for this? Oh, I need to. Let's make them Higarin as well. Most hey. players will choose Higarin, so you're kind of being prepared for the uh, most common scenario. Enemy type. Yeah. What is the what is the fascination with the Higarin? I don't know. People just hate the Vager because their their ships are so specialized. I think because um, the game works on a rock paper scissors system. I was kind of explaining it earlier, um, but the Vager have like rock paper scissors within rock paper scissors. Like certain Corvettes are good against fighters, and other Corvettes are not good against fighters. Whereas Higarin. pretty much any Corvette can be competent against a fighter. The gunship is supposed to be the dedicated anti-fighter corvette but um moving to you're pretty good with uh mothership. pulsar gun gunships too destroy enemy motherships all right so the first mothership thing you do hit underway. b twice to go to your mothership hit your that research ship button uh, make sure Roger. your resource collectors that pile Collection out confirmed. are continually Ready. told to go to that first Standing node by. resources locked in now, I'm not going to waste any time here. I'm going to, while that is building, that research ship is building, I'm going to queue up my Production underway. four resource collectors. Assembly underway. At my uh, carrier and my home and my mothership. Resources locked in. Reporting. I keep redirecting my resources downrange. Acknowledged. Uh, resource collectors. I've already got my Reporting. carrier up underneath that load. Yep. Yep. And one of the things to remember is that once. Once you've got the first, um, for, once you've built the first four resource collectors, so that's two notifications, right? Because you're building two at a time, so it goes resource collector done, resource collector done. Once that happens, or once you hear that, that's your cue to move your carrier to the, your expansion node. Um, because by then your mothership should be in that that forward, more forward position, so that they your resource collectors can move more efficiently to your mothership, and then you don't need the carrier underneath it anymore. Uh, now, this is very typical that in the opening moments of the game, that you go absolutely broke. Building my. Yeah, I'm still building the research uh, ship. Yes, now, this to... is typical because we I I picked up the pace a little bit. Okay, so the first load of resources has been dropped off. My I'm money right ticked now, up, yeah. and now things are getting constructed. The research ship should pop out any second now. Okay, maybe one more load needs to be dropped off, and there it is. I can see it. Yep, right under there. New research available. Fighter drive. Fighter research drive. Complete. And that'll complete really quickly. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing, too. This is where you can kind of mess up, too. Like, sometimes you can accidentally sit on your fighter drive research and not research attack bombers. Resource collector complete. 
Okay. First resource collector is done. Confirmed. First resource collector again moves. Reporting. To research the uh, complete. expansion slot. New research available. Ready. Acknowledged. Even though we're not sending the carrier yet. All right, Resources mine is done. So fighter package. chassis. Collection confirmed. Yep, I got two resource collectors there, and then when the third and fourth pop out, I move the carrier over to the expansion slot. So this is just attention kinda... fleet. We have too many collectors here. And if, you, if it says you have too many collectors here, and that's fine. Um, each note can handle between six and seven resource collectors for a homeworld one race. Um, so it might tell you occasionally that you have too many collectors, but you don't. You want to keep it between resource six and seven. Resource collector complete. Resource no less than complete. six. No more than seven. Okay, my fighter chassis is done. Research complete. Good. Attack. New plasma research bomb launcher. available. New now that I've got uh, for construction. fighters unlocked, I'm going to go to my back. launch menu, say stay docked, and I'm going to start building uh, Production underway. 20 interceptors. Production underway. Production underway. At uh, the mothership, let's say. Interceptor complete. And we don't have the, t the plasma bomb launchers yet, and that's fine. Acknowledge. Interceptor idle. complete. Resource collector. And another one. Okay, that's four Collection collectors that have been built. Confirmed. So we take our carrier. Complete. Standing by. Tell it to move under the destination locked in. Interceptor complete. It's moving out. Interceptor complete. Hey, I'm still building. Yeah, that's fine. Resource collector complete. So I'm right here. Resources locked in. Now you notice I haven't queued up any res. Well, I'm researching plasma bomb launcher, but I haven't upgraded my research ship yet. And that's because I I want to make sure that our research resources. resource research tick paused. is fairly low. Because the more the more upgrades you have for that research ship, the more it subtracts from your bank, complete. or the faster it subtracts from your resource units bank. You don't want that to happen if you can't afford it. Again, this is a rush complete. strategy. It's not a if our if our attack totally what the fudge fails that we're in real bit dire straits because <laughs> that was why complete new fighters available for construction okay. interceptor complete now my plasma bomb launchers are done i'm going to go right into capital ship interceptor drive complete and then on my carrier i'm going to queue up underway assembly underway attack bombs are clear assembly underway construction I'm underway go ahead and construction clear underway over there interceptor complete now i forgot to launch my resource collectors but that's okay so you might may want to make sure you check resources research paused Confirmed. Out. Towards the expansion. Attack bomber complete. Resources locked in. Roger. Resources okay, downrange. Interceptor complete. A couple by. of my stuff. Yeah. Collectors, they locked. Attack bomber complete. Resource collector complete. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Got to be listening to your audio cues too, because I just my uh, resource collectors are still okay. I'm starting to make some money here. Interceptor complete. So I'm gonna go ahead, and my resource collectors are done. So I'm gonna go Attack ahead and hit complete. research Production ship upgrade. Underway. Interceptor complete. Reporting. Collection confirmed. Resources downrange. Okay. Attack bomber complete. So now I should have a pretty good, strong economy, and uh, tell you what, interceptor complete. My interceptor queue is nearly done. When it's when it's done, I'm going to launch my ships and attack. I think. Interceptor complete. Even though my attack resources. bombers aren't done yet, Research that's fine, paused. because they are near the battle, and they can just reinforce as the fight goes attack on. Attack bomber so I'm complete. It auto launch my mothership. Still building my. Hit auto go. launch on my carrier too. Attack bomber oh, complete. And, hey. uh, research complete. New research available. Okay, capital ship chassis. Attack I'm gonna go with complete. capital ship chassis, and I'm actually gonna start building. Attack bomber complete. My support Assembly for my underway. three support frigates. Production underway. From the mothership and the uh, 
carrier. Launch all. Attack bomber complete. All right. Roger. Group one Up to build designated. Three. Destination locked in. Weapon set to full power. Attack bomber complete. I'll eat your bones, so. My resource ship upgrade is complete, and I'm still floating some resources, so go to Attack my build menu. Complete. My mothership and even build Production another resource underway. ship upgrade because I'm floating resources. You always want to keep your resources maybe within a couple K. Attack bomber if you complete. go too much above a, just like a couple thousand, then you, you want to increase your production or your research. General rule of thumb. Okay. Attack bomber complete. Where is my research Group ship? One reinforced. All right, Weapon I'm going to start moving in power. to my guy. Oh, On he's route. coming for me. Attack bomber so complete. how do you get attack a vector stance. Watch for debris. Right, so initial contact has been made. That means we need to. Well, I don't have any cues for you. Too many collectors here. That's fine. We're gonna start. Uh, our attack bombers are gonna finish here, and then we can start reproducing. Uh, probably interceptors. Just to kind of keep pressure up. We're doing all right. Attack bomber complete. Confirmed. Moving to intercept. Support frigate complete. Support Attack frigates are done. Complete. Capital ship chassis Research is pretty much done, complete. so then we're going to go straight into New capital Research ship drive. Available. New frigates available for construction. Still floating resources, pretty heavy. Um, but sure. I need to build. Uh, Production underway. No. That's almost build Production interceptors. Underway. Ten again, just kind of replace half my losses. Um, Interceptor complete. Under fire. Request order. I'm gonna keep. Uh, clear. I'm gonna put Assembly that. Underway. Birds are clear. I'm gonna put underway. one slot onto. Uh, that's all frigates. Okay. Under attack. What's the call? Interceptor complete. Copy. Moving to intercept. Interceptor complete. Make sure both my cues are active. They are. Production Attack underway. There. Interceptor complete. Alright, now I'm just trying to control space. Interceptor complete. No. Roger. Support frigates. Moving to destination. Support frigates are kind of tricky. Sometimes if you bandbox complete. select your units, you'll select support frigates, and you really shouldn't put them in a frontline situation. Interceptor complete. Now I skipped uh, this game. I decided to skip gravel generators, complete. mostly just to get a different flow to the game. Support frigate complete. Oh, you're looking for it. Interceptor complete. Now you have a nice force over there, Shadow, ready to roll if you want to put pressure on your guy. New research available. New capital ships available for construction. Oh. Assault frigate complete. Roger, en route. Head over in that general direction. Yeah. Destination locked in. Attack bomber complete. Ready. And I've got my reef re force reinforcements. They are cooking up. Alright. Now my uh, frigate is my destroy research is done. I'm gonna go ahead and start producing it. You can only produce it in your mothership. So I canceled the wrong production by accident. Production underway. What are you building right now? Uh, I'm building extra support frigates and uh, assault frigates from my carrier, and I'm building a destroyer and assault and support frigates from my mothership. I'm also researching super heavy chassis from my research ship. Okay, now my units have discovered where their carrier is. The carrier seems undefended, so I'm going to go ahead and, and attack their fighter facility. Target acquired. Um, Status report. That way, they can't produce any reinforcements. And I'm going to try my best to pop the carrier. Now they've got, ooh, they've got uh, fighters coming after me. This might be a bad mistake. I might have made a tactical error. I have found their base. Now remember, in like uh, these strategy fights here, yeah, you want to get rid of their defenses. So go ahead and get rid of their. Now it looks like it looks like my push is going to fail here, but that's okay. I kind of I exerted control over the area. Let's see how many. Cues. I have two open queues. What is that? What's going on? My ship's just like dying. Production underway. Production underway. Oh, ion cannon platform. Yep. They had defenses over there. That's all right. Construction underway. Just lost everything. So what's 
Yeah, those that rock, paper, scissors count. Make sure you have both Qs going. I've got assault frigates coming out of my carrier and also attack bombers. And I got still got destroyers and, and now interceptors coming out of my mothership. Uh, we have the support frigates. Reporting. Uh, yeah, I got all six support frigates, so as attack soon complete. as soon complete. as confirmed. my uh, research complete. Destroyer research pops out. Available. My first destroyer New pops out. Ships available for construction. Attack bomber complete. I'm going to uh, attack again. So you can tell complete. that as the game goes attack on, the complete. amount of time between attacks gets less and less. Just making sure complete. everybody's accumulating attack in the right complete. areas. Reporting. Interceptor complete. Oh route. my guys. Assault out. frigate complete. Attack bomber complete. And you always want to keep at least some interceptors and attack bombers available as a homeworld one race. Because the attack bombers can do a, a pinch hitting job at, at destroying destroyers. Interceptor complete. Attack bomber complete. Okay, I am now researching heavy guns from my research ship. Interceptor complete. Making sure both queues are occupied on attack both my bomber complete. And Interceptor complete. Destroyer complete. Okay, my destroyer Attack is done. Complete. Which means that as soon as it joins the party over here. Interceptor complete. Copy. Attack bomber complete. Move out. Order confirmed. Now once you get uh, capital ships. Interceptor complete. Like destroyers or even frigates, you, you can start uh, formation Attack moving then complete. because then you don't want your Fighters and attack Interceptor bombers getting complete. so far ahead of your general formation that destination locked in. They are left alone attack bomber without complete. support. Interceptor complete. Acknowledged. Validating my forces. Set. Interceptor complete. Attack bomber complete. En route. Okay, now attack the fun bomber part complete. is. Attention fleet, we have too many collectors here. Expect I have such a state box, but it doesn't look like any. Yeah. Attack bomber complete. Okay, that queue wrapped up. Gonna go ahead and uh, Attack bomber build complete. more assault Production frigates from underway. my mothership now that I don't need the. Okay. Attack bomber complete. Acknowledged. Green line confirmed. Um, attack bomber complete. Okay. Now my support frigates. Copy. I hit the Y button and left click that destroyer. Issue. And they will move from the formation and uh, they will basically heal. Assault frigate complete. Ready. The, uh, the uh, destroyer if, if and when it gets damaged. Copy. Oh, and speaking Research of the devil, here complete. come my friends. New capital ships available for construction. Reporting. Weapons set to full power. Pursuing targets. Light Ooh. Light Ready. Light they got platforms over attack here. Let's attack them. In. I got one. I am popping out my first destroyer. All right. So I have heavy guns researched already. Under fire. So I'm going to let this one assault frigate complete, and then I'm going to... Pop out a heavy cruiser. Production underway. Okay. There's my destroyer. Back to my probe to go. Okay. I don't want. Ready. Copy. Reporting. No assault frigate should be selected. Group one assigned. And we're gonna under move these guys in Engaging. here. Attack their resources. Assault frigate. Oh, okay. Unidentified probe detected. Drawing heavy fire. Boot to that probe. Okay, this attack is going pretty well. Make sure my cues are up. Go ahead and my assault frigates that are being built by the carrier into battle continuously. All right, stay with me now. Notice I've Wait taken a lot of course. damage to my stay on top of the strike craft, or at least it looks that way. This is looking good. Stay tight. Interceptors. 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 Intercept
Berths are clear. Berths are clear. Construction underway. All right. We're under fire. I caught one. Assembly underway. You know, my he heavy gun research completed, so I'm going to build the gravity generator at last. <laughs> okay. All right, let's and then, uh, now the that the resource collectors are all taken care of, yeah. tell everybody to attack. I'm taking hits here. Ready. Local resources exhausted. Fleet. Moving on. Understood. With their last remaining defensive forces. Got my probe over there. Tell the destroyer to get the pride of Vergara. This has him pretty. Roger. Second destroyer's out. I want to hit J and warp him in. Interceptor complete. Initiating hyperspace jump. Now he does not have. I should have checked if he had a uh, warp inhibition module. I did not. And that was silly of me. Exit coordinates confirmed. Interceptor complete. All right, hang in there. Right. Second destroyer's. Interceptor Join complete. the battle. Complete. We've got a situation here. Attack bomber complete. Roger. Send everybody in. Attack bomber complete. Right, my support frigates. Get, hold down Y, band box select. They will smartly repair anything that's damaged. Bomber complete. There we go. Attack bomber complete. Missile destroyer going. Yeah, now the missile destroyers are anti-strike craft, which you see, Attack considering what we see from them, that's a smart move, because they're starting to build corvettes to counter your uh, fighters. And the missile destroyers will take short, will really, what the fudge on those corvettes, so that was a good choice. Bomber complete. My guy's mothership is almost gone. Light fire confirmed. All right, and now it's popped. Taking damage, please. Attack bomber complete. We're under fire. Ion cannon frigates over here as well. Uh, Light fire confirmed. Highline everybody. Confirmed. Attack bomber complete. Move them got over enemy here. Move order confirmed. Oh, he popped out a destroyer before. Group one reports enemy oh, contact. Wow. That was a day explosion. Yep. Right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and send That tricky guy, he popped out a destroyer. But it's too late now. Group one reports victory. Supporting friendly units. Alright. Well, I'm actually gonna Ready. tell my guys to fall back a little bit. I'm gonna put them into uh, passive mode so they don't attack anything. And I'm gonna tell them to consolidate. Stand down, we're on hold. Moving to destination. So this guy's pretty entrenched. Moving to destination. Now, we've scored a major victory here, but it's still not uh, confirmed. an end game scenario. He still has his carrier. Acknowledged. Oh. Reporting. Confirmed. Understood. Repair target locked in. Okay. All under, oh, they popped my freaking probe. Yep, they'll do that. Heavy cruiser complete. Okay, my heavy cruiser is finally complete. Which means th these guys are pretty screwed. I haven't built my gravity generator. I'm so Assault busy thinking about winning. Production underway. Birds are clear. And as soon as that. Production underway. Keep those heavy cruisers in production. Roger. Understood. Acknowledged. Sure everybody. Acknowledged. Make sure Watch my cues are still going. They are. Might need a couple more. Construction so underway. Keep Berths are here. clear. Just kind of. Lick in my wounds. Yeah, but it doesn't look like we Ready. have a lot of wounds to speak of. Copy. Yep. Okay, everything that can be healed is healed. So now I'm ready to go. Those assault those support frigates really make the difference. You know how to do the area he area heal? 
Gravity well generated. Area heal? Complete. No. Um, or the smart heal. You double click your support Standing frigates, by. hold down Y, and draw a Assault box around your ships. I would recommend just drawing it around the um, frigates and destroyers and the bigger ships because if it heals all the strike craft, it will take Repairs too long. Initiated. <laughs> okay, got it around my big stuff. Yeah. And, I then, also have a and then they'll smartly assign themselves to repair uh, ships. Missile destroyers out. But I don't think I really actually lost anything. Now my. Standing by. Group one reinforced. Ooh, Destroyer you're being attacked. Complete. Ooh, good. Okay. We got a good battle going over there. I want to set my stuff back to aggressive. Show no mercy. And I'm going to put them into uh, fighter screen Strike formation. And just to keep them all moving together. Put the support by. frigates. They. Dead. Are on healing duty in. for the heavy Have cruiser. So bad because I got this freaking anti strike Roger. craft. Copy. Okay, guard. I'm going to tell my grab well generator that just finished. Assault to frigate complete. Guard the. Uh... Oh, they might have a grab well generator. Yeah, they might ha have a grab well generator now, so I'm going to slow boat over to their space. Strike group coordinates locked in. Let's see, I got. Uh, Thank you guys. Go kill that. At this point, I'm going to research proximity center. Now, if you research proximity center, this opens up an, an additional tech that you can't see otherwise called the sensor array. Research that, and it has a special ability for a thousand resource units. You can reveal the entire map. Joined your channel. Yeah. Hey there, Cobb. Research. Complete. How's it going? New Pretty good. I'm available. coaching him on uh, Homeworld Remastered. Group one reports ah. enemy contact. Support frigates. What are you doing? Get ready. Get your crazy bones back I here. I played Homeworld years ago. Air order confirmed. I don't even remember how to play. I watched a couple of videos on the remastered. It looks pretty sweet. It is pretty sweet, man. Nostalgia that looks just like a game from this year. Nice. It's it's awesome. See, that's all they had to do with with Daisy. They had to just take the mod, make it slick, and leave it exactly the way it was, and everybody would have been happy. Yep, it would have been worth. I would have paid thirty bucks for it. Group one reporting. Yeah. I mean, I did pay thirty bucks for it, or whatever the price was, but. <laughs> I got it. I got it bought for me, but that's only because uh, Andy got banned on his account, and so he gave it to me because he had to buy new one anyway. Copy. Little Andy. Ready. Group yeah. One. I still see him around every once in a while. He actually has been playing Daisy Mod. He uh, found a server that he likes that uh, runs uh, the version just before they took out the AS50 and M107, so basically the original. Cool. Yeah. He says it's really popular. There's like 30, 50 people on there all the time. Group 1 has defeated the enemy. Pursuing targets. Group 1 reporting. Oh, their carrier is gone. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm making the final push on the other guy. This should not last long at all. Stay on top of them. He did not have much of anything. I'm hitting his resource Under units fire. first, Busting and order. then we'll hit it. I'll hit his carrier. Oh, I got a second missile destroyer out. Nice. Jump her over there. Are you guys each playing? Uh... We're playing against. We're playing against the AI together, and I'm recording the video so that uh, people can see the overall strategy. We're, we're on the team. Right. Yeah, we're on the team. But each have your own mothership. Yeah, we each have our own mothership. Uh, everything is just basically as you remember from Homeworld Multiplayer. Well, except for formations. Formations don't quite work right. Um, they had to port it into a new engine, and the engine um, doesn't handle individual ship movement very well. Um, as part of a group. Watch your stick. Okay. Their carrier's down. All right. David, the AOE feel is pretty sweet after the robot. Yeah, it really keeps your stuff. You're fine. Um, I should have mentioned, it's a good strategy to put uh, your support frigates into a second okay, command group. Because they can share command group groups. Like, they can be um, command group one or whatever. And they can also be, like, command group two. So that you can quickly select them and only them. And then throw down an area heal in the middle of battle. Oh, no. That that player is escaping. Ah. Oh. Alright. Group one. Group one. 
underway. I'm gonna jump warp down away. Good he he did warp away, but he couldn't get very far because uh, I had a gravwell generator over here with my ships. Channel. Nice. <laughs> I'm right back on him. Yep. Group I'm moving my guys over there. I'm just giving them an, uh, one, a, a general move order in aggressive stance. They'll attack whatever they find. Did die. Yeah. Acknowledged. He's almost dead anyway. I got him. Group one under attack. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there's last moment. Group one reports enemy contact. That was a like pretty fire. smooth game there. Yeah, I'm just rocking out all these ion cannon drone frigates and missile, you know, one destroyer and two missile destroyers. I think I would be rocked out right there. Yep. Now, sometimes that's a good strategy, too, especially because you were seeing swarms of uh, corvettes and fighters and uh, the missile destroyers counter those. Now, if we if you start to see, started to see frigates or destroyers, uh, a good move at that moment would be to pass over the missile destroyer and go into super uh, super capital chassis and then to heavy guns to get your heavy Jeez. cruiser out you were still definitely ahead of me uh yeah but not by not by too too much um, my guy didn't seem to have a lot of fighters out it seemed like yours had constant you yeah know, i gave fighters. i gave uh myself the harder guy now are you ready to graduate again and go up to the standard cpu the same kind that i fought uh yeah we could do that all right so it'll be our third game of the series let's go ahead and give a overview breakdown uh, let's see combat uh, we built actually similar numbers of ships. I probably built one more wave of fighters than you did, and that's probably the only real difference. Um, you lost a few more ships than I did, but you ran into some defenses, whereas I did. Yeah, he had those, yeah, those ion, those ion platforms he had. Those were those were beasts. They were like killing my ships in like one hit. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, he was actually better than his like he killed more of your ships than the other guy the harder the supposedly harder guy built look at that wow that's crazy Let's see resources spent um okay you kept up with me pretty well uh, i'm not sure what's oh do you see these even numbers on mine that meant my uh both my resource nodes went um how do we say they they exhausted themselves and i wasn't paying attention that's the oh, only gee. way you'd have an even number like this. Um, so, but you got close there. Like that's actually pretty close, um, considering how many resources you float as a homeworld one race. That's pretty yeah. close. I said we could just graduate even farther. There's two slots open on a six-player uh, game right now. All right, you you ready for that? Yes, we could give it a shot. All right. <laughs> Okay, so uh, okay, so here we're gonna. I'm gonna stop this recording. It's the end of your training then, and we're gonna go into that game. See you all real soon.